tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, and y'all know the tennis pastor, coming back at you again with a little special preview. Okay, now here's the preview. Can the Djokovic win Rome? Okay, he's he's making a great comeback. And okay, and we know the the, the biggest obstacle obstacle in his way would be Nadal. And, and there's, there's other top players in there, Zarep and all these other players. Can he win Rome? Is he is he, is he could he some way put it together? Could the stars line up? Could the second coming of Jesus Christ happen? Could the extraterrestrial it, uh, intervene on this planet and allow the Djokovic to win Rome. Okay, all right. Uh, man, you know what I mean? It, it, I wouldn't bet any money on it. I think, I, listen, I think when the Djokovic leave, no matter who he lose against, even if he lose against Nisha Corey, he, he should definitely be happy with his comeback. Uh, I do think he should beat Nisha Corey at least. And if he lose against the Dow, that's okay. Uh, but, um, uh, I'm going to tell you, let me just say something before I answer that question. People, the only thing that Djokovic needs right now, he's lacking the hot, the super level. Y'all remember I told y'all that the, the, you know what the Djokovic needs? He's lacking what Zarep is lacking. People, the reason why, you remember I told y'all that Boris Becker, which is right, he said the new generation of players haven't figured out how to tap into that. I'm calling it the super level. Uh, Boris Becker, he just said they haven't figured out how to beat the, he, they haven't figured out how to beat like Federer and Nadal and the, you know, the end of the big five, in other words. So listen, and remember I told y'all in a video about a few days ago that Zarep, once he tapped into what I call the super level, the super level is what Nadal and Federer, they're high level. That's what I call super level. The level that the Djokovic had, which he had the highest. Uh, and uh, Warinka tapped into it later. And Andy Murray tapped into it like around 2009. And Andy Murray became part of the Big Five. And Warinka followed after that. And uh, the Djokovic followed too. Okay. In a different order. Okay. Whatever order. There is an order that they did. I think it's Federer first, then Nadal, then Andy Murray actually. Then the Djokovic tapped into it. And then Warinka. It's called the super level. And that's why we had a, the big five. Okay, what's Zarep uh, tapping to it? Man, he going to be winning majors beyond majors. And Federer and Nadal, he'll be beating Federer and Nadal in at least 50% of the time. Even at Federer and Nadal's highest level. With Zarep, put that super level with Zarep's game. Now, 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 what does this got to do with the Djokovic? So, people, that's what the Djokovic need. He got everything. Now, listen, he pretty well almost got everything back. Let me be some little subtle things. But the level stuff would take care of that. The only if the Djokovic beats Nisha Corey and go against the Dow, the only thing that Djokovic lacks is the hot the super level. If he got the super level back with the game with, with the base game that he has right now, uh he would beat Nadal with the super level. If he could get like, it, it don't even have to be the top super level. It can just be a low super level. You know what I'm saying? So that if he got equal with Nadal, I believe that Djokovic could beat Nadal. He'll be reminded how he used to beat Nadal on clay. But he got to get he got to get that high level back or something close to that. That's the only thing that Djokovic, even though he looks good now, he st it's not high level though. It's just good. It's good solid tennis. Uh, even if he's beating people six two, it ain't that super high level. He got to tap into that super high level. And if he tap into that, so so, and then not only tap into it. Once he once he can reach it. Can he solidify it where it becomes his game again? Not just tap into it for one game. I mean, one match and dust somebody off at, at the super level. Then he dropped back down again, okay? So, uh, but back to the question. Can he win in Rome? Uh, I wouldn't bet any money on it. I mean, even if somebody said, Magic, man, I give you three to one odds for a hundred bucks that you take the Djokovic. I give you three to one. Meaning if the Djokovic wins Rome... Uh, man, they, hey, you know what? Even if they gave me six to one, I probably wouldn't do it. I don't think he'd do it, man. I just, you know, uh, they have to give me like, I'd do it probably 10 to one. I put like 10 bucks. And then I went, if he went wrong, I went 100, you know. But I, I don't know, but I, I, like I did say, man, I want to see him against Nadal. I do, I'm going to do a special video. Boy, I'm going to do like two or three previews on that. Because that's going to be special. 
Even if the Dow beat him, I believe that Djokovic, after that match, he going to leave with a new, a new level, though, probably. Win or lose. Okay, people, tennis preacher, tennis prophet, tennis psychic.